good morning everybody it is 5 41 in the morning still very dark outside like pitch black someone's awake in the house and i don't know who could it be awake at 5 41 in the morning hope it's not burglar i am feeling a bit feisty though in the morning today i'm off to courchevel with laura mercier it is not my first time in courchevel i have been there exactly two years ago actually no, three years ago for my birthday in March, so exactly three years ago, more or less. And um, I'm very excited. I've just finished packing this morning. I've got my hand luggage ready as well. I'm going to put on my boots and head downstairs because the car is coming to pick me up in three minutes. Exactly. So everything's ready. Passport check, cards, phone, all here. That's the most important stuff. I'm quickly going to go through the checklist for packing and then I'm going to head off to the airport. I need to close the boots because this is going to be my travel look. It's pretty um, easy because there's from Geneva there's like two and a half hour journey to Courchevel. For the first time ever I'll be traveling with my Birkin as a travel bag so let's see how that goes. I'll let you know at the end of this trip. I just got on the plane with my partner Red and my other one as well. We are about to take off leaving london soon this like one and a half day in london was really nice i'm excited to embark on this journey oh my god it's pretty it's snowing it's so cute and here's my travel look very cozy. I can see some pastel flowers. I know who this is for. Guys, we arrived. My balcony is open because I was just there checking out the stunning view of Courchevel. I was here actually not that far, like this kind of way. It's snowing, it's beautiful. I cannot wait to ski. I received so many beautiful goodies from the team, including some of the snow outfits as well some of my favorite laura mercier products like i mean this is not my first trip with laura mercier but their trips are always so divine that i have no words you guys remember how amazing it was on saint -Tropez. I love this so much, it's one of my faves, then some of my ski gear from Perfect Moments and of course the most exciting part is here. I cannot wait to be doing my makeup tonight. So I'm here with Henry and both of us are excited to ski and for the whole trip like for the activities, for the party aspect of it and of course for like work aspect of it because when you work with a brand that you love it's just always so 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 exciting so i'm very excited to like immerse myself in like laura mercier universe to try all the products i think there's gonna be some new primers that i'll be showing you in fact they have already sent them to me so i have them with me here but i'm gonna show them to you throughout the trip and i just think this is gonna be so beautiful I love snow, I love mountains, I'm someone who kind of grew up going every winter to the mountains to ski, so this is very exciting. Bienvenue to my beautiful room in Courchevel. Le Maisonin? Le Maisonin, Amand, Le Maisonin or something like that. But That's amazing. Are we going to ski soon? Are you excited for the skiing? Yes, I mean Can with all this snow. My helmet says Tamara. Wow. That's so cool. Are you excited for the, our skiing session? Yeah. What are you more excited for, the partying or the skiing session? Mm, oh God, maybe partying. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> I don't blame you. Very cool. Love the looks from the perfect moment. And yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to unpack and to start this adventure. A little food break with a bunch of emails because you know fashion weeks are ahead oh my god yours looks so yummy and he's not working he's oh drinking oh my god yeah that's so good <laughs> no but you did your job i didn't do mine so i'm gonna have a little soup and then we have like the most stunning like snow view can you tell no you cannot tell but it's really pretty it's so cozy so nice i want to go skiing right away i'm gonna get fitted for the boots like the ski boots as soon as we eat 
then perhaps like we're gonna like take some pictures check out the spa rest a little bit and then it's evening time what i haven't shown you yet is that i received these beautiful pieces from perfect moments so they've sent me this ski suit and this lovely cashmere knit it's so nice and actually i'm gonna wear that to the slopes today i also have some i have a few more skiing options actually i don't know if i've shown you yet this but this is really an incredible fendi jacket i'm gonna be wearing this probably this afternoon um it's silver outside and like a little logo inside but it's like reversible and i also got a jacket from the perfect moments as well over here i really love how like easy their um, stuff is because you can kind of just always like put it over and combine and then I have another Fendi ski suit so yeah there's gonna be a lot of ski inspo during this trip okay guys few hours later I don't have much time but I'm gonna try and retouch my makeup because I'm um, actually have removed stuff from my face as you can see because the imperfections are visible but I haven't removed my eye makeup because I want to build on top of it I usually prefer building on top of my eye makeup so I actually want to try these new Laura Mercier primers I received these in post I hope it's not too echoey I received these in the post a few days ago and there's like a few different ones so there is this one which is protecting it says it has active ingredients avobenzone octinoxate okay so this is uh, basically protective because it has spf we have the one which is blurring we have the hydrating one we have the perfecting one which probably is what i would need right now but i'm gonna use the illuminating one because i think this is gonna be so beautiful tonight oh the tonight's dress code is pastel because obviously this is very pastely oh my god i put so much on I love when I'm like really illuminated when my skin is really glowy sometimes you guys like message me to say that it's a bit extra I like a bit of extra makeup so I normally use the flawless radiance perfecting foundation and it's very like um, kind of illuminating look how illuminating this product is I've received a flawless fusion ultra long wear foundation I think this will sit better on the glowy look I'm gonna blend the Primer is adding so much glow. You guys can't really see because the light here is not the best, but it really is adding so much glow. Can you see how like luminous my skin is just with the with the primer? Actually, I would like to wear this when I'm traveling, like as an airport look when my skin feels great. I put a bit of foundation on. My shade is three and one. It's a little bit dark, but that's because I want to use it with some of my concealer. I also have got um, Lola Skin. Infusion de Rose Le Bon from Warm Mercy. This is so nice. I just want to moisturize the lips, you know? Uh, 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 uh. Mm. It's divine. I also received as a gift to Laura Mercier Flawless Finish Makeup Sponge, but I'm not really using that because I'm not used to using that. I'm used to using my Real Techniques foundation uh, sponge, and I really like applying my foundation with this. So, this is the I think this is new, maybe not though. This is the Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Foundation. So I agree. The coverage of this foundation is stunning and especially on top of the primer. I mean, if you think about one product that Laura Mercier is most known for, I would say that's the primer, right? So the fact that they came out with like, what, five new primers is bingo. Now, I use always a lot lighter concealer color because I think the foundation is a little bit too dark for me. So this brings a nice um, balance. Sorry, you can hear Henry. He's trying to ask the hotel to bring me full length mirror because I need it. Uh, concealer is the Flawless Fusion in shade 1N. Very light. I like the sides of my nose like brighter there and I like to add a bit of light here. And if you will the nice contour, this is darker. But this is how I do it. I received a new one of this. This is my old one. It's Laura Mercier Soleil 2 bronzer. I love this. I use this all the time. This for me is my best contour. Secret, I don't contour much. This is more like to add some color to my face. I use this every day, like forever and always. I love adding some warmth around the forehead area. I've just received this pencil. It's in shade Rosewood. It's like a beautiful shade. And I have a lip gloss in my bag. But look how nice the color, right? 
stunning translucent loose setting powder but this one's i think a bit illuminating right yes okay i'm gonna use this let's try this i don't know how this is gonna turn out it's gonna be very illuminating look but that's what i want to look like today I'll just let it sit here. I love this. This is insane. This is translucent, but this is the glow translucent. So it's glowy. So I'm going to try using this palette over here for tonight. And I'm going to combine the bronzy and the brown colors. Like this one and this nude one here. Just to get a bit of warmth. Like as a base from this morning, I have a NARS Wanted palette. Which is what I always travel with on my eyes. You guys know that. It's in my every single makeup tutorial i feel like we should have a glass of champagne or a drink can you see how i'm doing the crease it's nice right maybe a bit of same in the outer corners of the eye the bronzy shade here just a bit here to add some warmth this palette, by the way, is called Parisian Nudes Eyeshadow Palette. This is my Vitalash like liner. I'm just gonna... What is this on my nose? And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna show you when the look is fully, fully complete. Okay, guys, now you can see my makeup look a little bit better. What it looks like complete. I just added a black um, pencil in um, my waterline. We're wearing pastel today, so I'm very pastel -y. I've got like literally, I'm like a bit of a macaroon, I think. Henry, am I like a macaroon a bit? You are the most yummiest, delicious macaroon that Pierre would ever create. Oh my god, that's like the best thing ever. So yeah, we'll show you my look in a little bit. But now we're gonna go downstairs, try to take some pictures and just um, explore the area a little bit. So. Let's go. This is so stunning. So these are the primers that I was showing you earlier. Let's see the area. so obviously we arrived yesterday right and actually we got greeted by the most beautiful light outside I hope it's gonna stay that way today because I really want to go skiing or want to explore I've been here before but I just want to um, see it again with a different pair of eyes because it's quite nice to compare who I was when I was here last time and who I, who I am now it looks like there's some Sun I don't know if it's cold in the hotel, it's so hot, like that we're really enjoying it and now we're gonna have breakfast, we're gonna organize our stuff, plan our day and then around 10 a.m. we're gonna hit the slopes, right? Yes, we're excited. Since last dinner was so like late for me and yummy, I'm not really that hungry this morning but Henry's making me eat because he said I'll get tired on the slopes. I've got my porridge with strawberries. And really, like, everything is so beautiful, thanks to Laura Mercier. They really took up everything. I had my green juice already, there's some little pastries, my oatmeal glatte, and let's dig in. Write this down. Yeah. I'm gonna try and get dressed for the slopes. This reminds me so much of my childhood and like skiing. I think I told you guys I used to go skiing with my dad and my dad is like the guy that has very very high expectations of his children we had to like know how to ski skate speak english learn another language go to like take interest in art interest in sports i used to go to football matches with my dad so skiing with him was pretty intense let me tell you that much always in involved some kind of screaming from the top of the mountain which was like parallel skis or something like that kind of grateful a little bit now <laughs> like low-key grateful it's 
So this is very important part, dressing up for the slope. Always used to be very important to me because I need to make sure that everything is kind of perfect. I'm very excited to see everybody on the slope. Okay, this is where we're all getting our boots. I'm all dressed. As you guys can see, this is gonna be my skiing outfit. I'm in the snow boots, so I'm standing really weirdly. But then most people stand weirdly when they're taking those mirrors selfies. Hello, good morning. Okay, look at this. Dun, 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 dun. Um, Henry and I are skiing. There's like a ski school going on uh, lower, like a, they call it magic carpet, where you can like practice. Bye bye. Oh, very bright. We decided to skip that, so we're going to. Bye bye. Do I'm so happy I bought, brought the scarf I mean, now the because guests, you never knows, you know, when exactly we get to the water, top, water, it's so cold. It's hard, it's like, I mean, of course, course right? The sightings here are so stunning. I'm so happy, I'm so grateful to Laura Mercier for bringing us to this place after three years back here. Look how majestic. I put the protecting uh, primer this morning, the Laura Mercier, one of the new ones, because it has the SPF in it, and I'm very happy because it's very sunny. As you guys can see, I'm always skiing with the goggles. So yeah, like you know, I think SPF is very important to apply every single day. So last night I wanted more of a glow, but today I wanted more of like a protection and just like perfection as well. Okay guys, this is not very easy. I have to admit, vlogging and skiing at the same time is not the best idea, but I'm gonna do it. I don't have my sticks right now, just vlogging. This is kind of dangerous activities. Yeah. But I'm actually loving it, just have to watch for the skiers. You ready, Henry? Yeah. Let's do this. just got back from skiing and received so many cute things oh my god how nice what is this oh some like looks like casino chips and then I'm very excited for this it's gonna be hard to actually receive something that I don't already have from Misoma because of course I love it so much let's see if I already have the pieces that I have received here. I'm actually very excited because you guys know how much I love Misoma. So now I got the second pair of <laughs> twist earrings. They're beautiful. But they're beautiful. The collection is out now. So you can show. I love it. I wear them. I actually brought mine as well in a mini twist necklace, which I also already have in the car now. Change my look. I'm going to Capricorn for lunch, and I'm going to show you my fabulous jacket in a moment. Well, Henry is going to show you. Henry, remind me, will you? Henry? Excuse me. That's why I was on my emails. I'm making business for you. <laughs> Will you remind me that we uh, do a little video of the jacket later when we get there? I so will absolutely see from high demand of the following. Cool. I so I promise I'll show you the look. I was really feeling like wearing white. So I'm wearing these white to the Dalmoran trousers. I do have spare jeans in the bag as well. I'm wearing this stunning Chanel turtleneck. It says Coconage. Who remembers the collection? Let me know in the comments below. I've got these Fendi goggles. They're actually not the glasses I'm wearing during the thingy bob. I'm wearing my Celine Sunnies. And then this most incredible puffer from Fendi, which is fully reversible. So you can wear it whichever side you want. And I'll insert pictures of both options, I think. I think we have both options. So let's go and have some truffle pizza now because I'm dying for food. Cup horn with these wonderful ladies. Hi, Lorna on my right. And this oh yeah, you need your sunglasses. My favorite. I'm having the best time in New York. I cannot wait. Okay, I look Let me glam see. Now. Hi. I literally cannot see anything from the sun, but I'm sure you look glam. Sure, it's all good. People are already eating. We just arrived. But it's gonna be pretty nice because the menu looks insane. Let's 
insane. So we are really having the best time and you know that I don't really normally drink but I am keeping warm, enjoying, like really having the best time here. It's just so fun. I cannot even tell you. Guys, we are now seeing the dogs. I'm so excited. We have like a uniform. This is the uniform they for this event. Us. They said we can only go if we have a Max Mara Exactly. Coat. That's why there's no one else Big here. <laughs> From Leonie and me. <laughs> Thank you. Was it good? Hi. This one has one brown, one blue. Hey. They're so ready. They're pumped. I'm actually scared because it looks oh very steep oh my god guys it's very steep let me show you oh my god wait this is kind of crazy <laughs> I did a little research about this because I know that uh, people I've done this in Finland already and people were complaining that the dogs um, should not be doing this and I actually watched so many documentaries about this and it says that the huskies are born like in their DNA it is that they have to run and this is what they've been doing for like centuries for years so that this is what kind of dog they are they're like the expedition running dog they only do it for like short periods of time when they're standing the dogs are like um, kind of talking I want to say uh, because they get so excited they cannot wait to go for a run and it's the kind of workout that they have to have every single day because otherwise their muscles can waste so each dog has like a role in the team there's a leader there's like a, there's like different kind of things in the back and it's really incredible this is so stunning oh my you God, guys so they, know how to they, they stopped for us to enjoy this view <laughs> sure okay Maxi beaucoup! Oh. Allez-y! <laughs> Beautiful! And like the snow is like glitter. It's like that Instagram filter. That's how the snow looks. I don't know if you can see. Okay. You're so beautiful. So Laura Mercier prepared or is preparing this hot cocoa bar. How stunning, all in pastel colors, just like our silicone free pure canvas primers. Like stunning. I'm so excited. So you can have, oh my god, Henry, you can have hot cocoa or hot cocoa with a splash of Baileys. So we have blurring, hydrating, and blurring. Then this perfecting over there, hydrating here. And we have perfecting, illuminating, and blurring over here. A little update for you guys. I'm now at a hotel lobby, just really enjoying a little bit of me time. It's very nice to be here, to just like enjoy the mountains, to feel the energy. I'm currently editing pictures on my computer. I just wanted like a little bit alone time because I'm a Pisces, I need sometimes a bit of just a little bit of me time, you know, like a little bit of a long time and this is like 20 minutes that I get for myself and after that I'm gonna go back to the room because Larry King is gonna do my hair for tonight and I'm very excited for that because, you no, know, you know, like when it gets wet and stuff you get these little like baby, what you call these, like, you know, like these little kind of hairs and I just want the hair to be really nice that's the plan for tonight we're going to a very cool bar like a guy from here told me i'm wearing my beautiful new misoma twist earrings i changed into this uh, isabel moran knit that you guys have seen in my my Teresa hole that i love so very much and it's actually matching perfectly the pastel vibe of this trip guys so many of you know that I have been dying to try 
first of all, like the Dyson hair dryer. I'm sure there's much better name for it. What is it, Larry? It's the, the Dyson Supersonic. The Dyson Supersonic. And the very infamous Larry <laughs> King is going to be doing my hair. So tonight we'll see what I'm going to look like. I'm very excited to try this. Pressure. And Pressure on. is on. I have a lot of hair. People sometimes think it's fake hair. It is not fake. Trust me. Guys, it's not fake. Not one bit. <laughs> so let's There's do no this extensions here. now. Okay, the light is not the best. It's very dark, but Larry has done my hair. You're going to see it as soon as we're done. And it's beautiful, right? I mean, you're the most beautiful girl in the entire world. So you know, like someone to left me a comment under my video that Same I need much. to stop telling you that you're so handsome. And they, <gasps> they, yeah, that's not nice. because they what? said that for sure you don't like it, that it's too much, that it's so intense. That it's a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, it is actually. Really? But <laughs> <laughs> like, I never thought of that, but this uh, this followers of yours, I think so it's right. So someone said, someone said that men feel very like awkward when like I don't know. You look so sad. Don't cry because I call you handsome. But this is not actually why I put a camera on. I put a camera on because a French speaking man just asked me how do you say oat milk in French, and I delivered. Very bad. I delivered, right? Yeah, I was like, later on. Like, wait, can I quickly, can I quickly also something else in this camera? I'm not French, I'm from Switzerland. <laughs> but French speaking, I said. Ah, okay, but voila. Ah, voila, there of you course, go. you know, I fully understand that you're from Switzerland because I would never, ever confuse a Swiss man. Very good, I'm very happy to hear that, Tamara. I'm gonna get ready now with my not handsome Henry <laughs> because I can all Let's not over exaggerate <laughs> either. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Guys, if I tell you what my day tomorrow is gonna look like, should I tell them right now? Tomorrow, yeah. with like in Courchevel skiing, have, like going to party at the Bagatelle, and then I get on the plane, arrive home, rip up my bags, and leave for New York Fashion Week like a few hours later. It's gonna be intense. Yeah, I think and I'm it's very more excited. intense if you tell them you're gonna arrive in Geneva Airport at uh, 9, you have your plane at 9.50. Uh, you arrive in London at 10.30, uh, I think. The time you are back home is going to be midnight, m maybe midnight 30. That means you're out of your p packing or whatever yeah. by 2. Yeah. And you already need to be in London airport at 7.30. That means you need to leave your house at 5. 5. So you have 4 hours and a half or 5 hours in between. I guess I'll have to sleep on the plane. And mm -hmm. everything for you guys following that she loves. Exactly. Henry knows how much I love you guys and that everything I do and every decision I make is for you. Yeah, just thought I'd let you know. Spread some love to you guys. Now I'm gonna go get ready for tonight. <laughs> everybody wow this like um illuminating primer is really illuminating i basically got up pretty early this morning did my makeup to take like a few pictures and then um wash my hair because i thought it would be such a smart idea to make the most out of larry king being on site and having the dyson team here and um i just thought that would be so incredible for me to do so i obviously woke up in courchevel this is where we are right now and today i did not go skiing because i was like i have so much work to do i have so much going on and you guys tomorrow at this time, I will already be on the plane to New York for Fashion Week, but I'm not even in London yet. So I basically really, really loved my hair actually when I woke up this morning, even after last night's having it done. So I was like, Ooh, should I wash it? Should I not wash it? But then I thought, look, if I wash it now, I'm gonna have really nice, beautiful, clean hair tomorrow for my trip and potentially the day after i don't know if i'm gonna be able to book something or to have a hair appointment in new york so i was like let me just do this it's like the best and the smartest option so woke up wash my hair gonna have it dried now then when i come back i will need to pack because i need to kind of like be ready to leave already 
around one even though at one we're going for lunch at bagatelle which is like one of my favorites i think that's going to be so fun um and after that we're going to be heading back to the hotel to pick the luggage to head to the airport from courchevel to geneva airport it's around two and a half hour drive i'm just very grateful to be here and to have had a chance to experience this most of the people are staying tonight as well and they're leaving tomorrow morning but we're gonna leave in the afternoon today just because it was not possible to make everything on time i'm very happy to embark on my fashion month adventures very quick wet hair just heading down to one room lower look thought i'd show you i've got these new boots on i love them so much my girlfriend denim jeans that i wear all the time chanel bag and chanel sweater and now let's go to the styling suite wow guys so this is the styling suite all the makeup is here hello larry hello, i'm gonna get my hair done it's all wet and clean sure. it was so nice that I, I, I felt almost like crying to wash it we're almost mm. done with my hair it's gonna look amazing i hope it already looks very shiny yeah we're gonna and get that shine up even more though. i love it i love how you've done the curl that it's not like a like I'm 60 years old, but it's like... It's just nice and soft. It, it's soft, exactly. And it will hold, and then you can just finish it just before you go out. Now I'm ready to go party. After a short break, I can see that everything is slowly getting packed. There's a lot going on. I know, that's my travel bag. Close the balcony now so no one breaks into our room while we're gone. And I've changed. We are going to Bagatelle for lunch and after that we have to head to the airport that's why we packed most other people will go there by skiing which i'm so envious of but we cannot do that because well because um we have to head to the airport afterwards so there's no time to kind of do all the like ski outfit bonanza but anyway i just met yara and amani because we're wearing same yara and i are wearing the same jacket and i was like oh my god you guys look alike are you sisters and you're not gonna believe their mother and daughter look how beautiful i have no words you're both stunning but you look like same age we made it to the ski lift we're just waiting to get on i'm with the fabulous international group as you could have seen and, and a bit of our UK group but they're ahead and I'm very very excited to get up to Bagatelle. You as well? Yeah, right. Very lucky because I'm the only person that has Jason in her gondola is here very close up. I snuck in. <laughs> and now I'm gonna use the iconic Laura Mercier translucent. Are we gonna use yes, the translucent? Yes, absolutely. We're gonna use the translucent powder to touch up because it's been a long day. You look gorgeous. And you know what else I love? I love that they do the little minis. Because for me, for traveling, they don't have them in here. But the little minis are for me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God, guys. We just arrived. Kate, this is insane. I have no words for this. We've just arrived. And the setup is absolutely out of this world. I really have to show you. Lorna's accessories for this trip like this is divine I am obsessed you packed yeah, such a good wardrobe We're on the <laughs> we're on the gondola back <laughs> and very scared of heights. Yeah, but now it's moving a lot. Yeah, it's moving a lot, and for some reason we stopped. Okay, now and it's now the gondola better. is getting so 
up and down. Woo. This was very. That was not pleasant. No. At one point, I thought we were dropping <laughs> down. No. Let's, and let's not be video. dramatic. I am very dramatic. <laughs> yes, for sure. Because yes, it it was a little bit shaky. We agree. I agree on that. Like it was not nice. It was not nice. It was not chic. It was not chic. I did this time with the bagatelle. It was so fabulous. Like all these cool songs from my youth, like Mario uh, Winans and the other Mario and like Neo and Nelly. Like you know the kind of if you know what I'm talking about like leave a comment below this is honestly like most majestic backdrop i could ever have i think in my life right it's stunning so we just checked out of the hotel a driver is here i can see him and i'm very sad to leave like i told you earlier we're leaving a little bit earlier than the rest half a day earlier than the others because we just have to make it on time for everything but this place is so stunning i just want to do like one last overview i loved it here it's so beautiful and i'm so grateful for this experience guys guess where i am home sweet home i am back where it all kind of started i guess did we start here did we start yeah we started here i'm back at home and i've just opened my luggage opened my suitcase there as you can see hand luggage is still unopened i leave home in six hours and 20 minutes i haven't even removed my makeup or the clothes i traveled in and i have to pack for New York Fashion Week. It's gonna be tough, but it's gonna be exciting. I'm gonna allow myself one hour to pack. A lot of things is gonna be like, are gonna be very easy to pack because like, beauty is already packed, right? So I just have to exchange a few things, get some stuff out and get some stuff in. And that's basically the plan. 